Hi, my name's Alex and today I'll be taking you through this week's question and answer session from us here at Anova Systems. Thanks for watching. In SolidWorks it's possible for us to create parts within the context of the assembly. So in this example I'm going to create a plate which connects our boom to our mounting bracket. So we'll just go ahead and insert a brand new part and we'll constrain it to that face. I'll then just go ahead and sketch the profile I want. So we'll just take that face there and offset from it by about 30 millimeters. And we'll take that face there and offset from it by about the same. And then we'll just simply connect the two sketches together. Followed by just trimming the over overlapping segments. And then finally, converting the slot detail. Okay, we can just take that and now extrude that sketch. Okay, so what we see in our tree structure is our new part and that defaults its name to part uh, then followed by a number at the assembly name. So first thing we want to do is rename that to something a bit more descriptive. So I'm just going to call this connecting plate like so. Now the square brackets uh, around it followed by the assembly name indicate that this part is internal to the assembly so it has no external part file. Now what we should find is when we actually save this assembly away if there are any internal components within it it will allow us to choose whether we want to save them internally or externally. So if we choose to save them externally it'll ask us where it wants to save them so we can say we want it in the same path as the assembly or specify the path or keep it internal to the assembly still. So if I just cancel out of that, the other route that you can go down when you're doing this is to just right click on the part and then save part in external file. It will bring up the same dialog box allowing you to save the part. Now if this time I actually do save this out, so we'll save it in the same folder as the assembly and press OK. You can see at that moment the square brackets and assembly name disappear from the part within the tree indicating that that part is now external. It has an external file. It can be used in other assemblies and you can create a drawing from it. So that brings us to the end of the demonstration. Thank you for watching.